Hi there, welcome. I'm Anna and this channel is made by Janat. Uh, today I thought we would uh, make the last few pockets in Big Grunge Christmas channel before I sew the signatures in and start to decorate the last few pieces. But it needs a few more pockets. Um, signature 2 doesn't have a pocket and uh, I have decided what to do with the envelope I just clipped in somewhere and where was that do you think I can remember here it is I just put this to the side I showed you yesterday that I clipped an envelope in uh, and I hadn't decided yet what to do with it I have decided that I want to uh, make a double tuck spot out of it so I will uh, start by gluing this flap down and I want to use my glue stick and I want to glue paper underneath using the Tombow Mono glue stick I love this uh, it doesn't get wavy when you glue with it and stays flat and I like that and it also sticks quite well. Uh, I use different glue sticks for different things. <laughs> you know I always use my, use my Yuho stick when I do my uh, reinforce my washi tape. So uh, now I want to make a notch here. Of course you see this is a bit fur further in. So I want to make a notch and let's keep our fingers crossed that the hole punch is agreeing with me today because sometimes it is not. I think I need to get a new one somewhere about there. Oh yes, no big notch, just a small one. And this is very white on white so I might, yeah, I want to... Uh, Ink that edge a bit and I want to use my gather twigs today. If you wonder what I'm looking for when I do that, I have uh, labeled my uh, distress inks and then I store them upside down and I easily see which ink I grab. But now I just use the one on the top of the pile. And that happened to be this one. Yes, and now I am just going to glue this down and then I will go and sew it on my machine. And I might put something here. I'm not sure, maybe a little Tim Holtz. No, 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 no. For gluing the edges down, I will use my art glitter glue because that dries fast and I want to be able to sew. My sewing machine is quite old and it doesn't like when it has wet glue to work with. Dried glue is no problem, but wet glue it does not like. The needle kind of gets stuck and it stops. So I am going to pause you guys and be right back. And I'm back. Quick as jiffy, right? So I will flatten down those stitches a bit so they don't bulk up the book and then I want to knot my threads a bit. If you wonder why I'm short of breath it's because the sewing machine is upstairs and I am having a bit of cold so I'm not... I'm a bit short of breath today. Where did I put my tiny scissors? What am I doing? When the threads are in the middle of the signature you know, on the page like this, I usually just snip them. I don't like having um, long threads dangling in the middle of a page. So 
since this is a Christmas journal, I am using red thread when I sew. And I think that gives it a nice touch. Uh, last year, I think I used green threads when I sew my journals. I like to vary a bit. And now we have a pocket here and also a pocket behind. That's a double top spot. And let's put this in. That looks quite cu cute, I think. Something happening there. Yeah, I'm quite pleased. And we also needed to get a pocket in signature too. So let me get that. This, that's the signature with the most um, thin papers in it. So I thought I could put a pocket here. This paper is a bit sturdier. And I don't want to cover up the writing space. So I made a paper bag flip pocket journaling spot thing. <laughs> I had this old paper bag. Uh, or old and old. I don't know if it's old. But I received some uh, Etsy. Some things I bought on from Etsy. Like five, six years ago in it, and I have been saving them. And now, because it's a reindeer, I thought, hmm, this is a Christmas journal. I want to make uh, a bag flip. And the tutorial to making this comes from Rachel at Roxy Creation. But just to shortly mention, I have decorated this a little bit on the front. I have folded down the edge and I have reinforced it with um, washi tape. Let me just see what's got stuck here. Oh no. There we are. Uh, I reinforced it with some washi tape because this is going to be a pocket and things will be going in and out. Then I folded this side down and here this is going to get glued down. Uh, on this page, side I uh, made a little flip with some pages. Some extra German space, some green vellum material paper, and I sewed it onto a piece of cardstock that I folded and glued in and decorated with a vintage label and some numbers. So this will go on the page like that. And you can flip it up, you can jump underneath, you can jump on every page here, and you can use it as a uh, pocket and I think that is quite nice because then you get lots of extra journaling space and something nice to look at as well. I have made this once before for a smaller journal. Uh, I have lots of lots of paper bags but uh, then I remembered now that I have this big big um, bag with the reindeer on it and I thought that would be perfect for a Christmas journal and I want to that almost all the way to the edge that perhaps a bit crooked uh, who cares it's a junk journal right and that is glued down properly and once again I might put some washi tape there to reinforce it even further and there is the bag. Yes. It bugs it up a tiny bit, but not too much. I like that, and that corresponds well with the, the paper with the pine trees on. Mm, so this will need some big tags to go in it. And um, I think I will put the washi there right away so it doesn't so it gets reinforced the question if it is if I want to use the fabric washi or if I want to use ordinary washi tape hmm. I will use the same washi tape as up there uh, And there I use my Yoohoo stick and I run the washi tape over it so that it doesn't 
so it gets a bit stronger. Plus not all washi tape has excellent glue, if you know what I mean. Some of them do and some of them don't. That looks a little bit more um, worked through and I think I have the scissors here. Yes, no. I am very good at losing things right now. You see, my usually you have you might have seen my craft room and my craft room tour. And usually I do not have my Christmas crafting stuff out. I have it keep it in a big uh, box underneath my desk down there. <laughs> but now at Christmas I have pulled the box out and I have uh, Christmas things all over my small room. So it is cra crammed, jam-packed full with Christmas stuff and um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just taking a sip of water. I still have a bit of a cold and I feel a bit stuffy. So that gives some extra space in this signature. I had another idea and that was to fold this page a bit and to make it into um, make a notch and make it into a side tack. But this is not going to hold that. So um, in, in that case, I would have to put some like some tea-dyed paper or something to reinforce it a bit before I do the fold. But uh, I quite like the, the paper bag idea. And as I said, Rachel of Atraxis Creation did this. I can't remember when, but it should have been this year because I followed her, her tutorial. So now we have tuck spots or pockets in every signature. We have flips, we have some other interesting things. Yeah, I wanted to decorate that a bit. Um, just reaching for my Tim Holtz if I'm right. I have quite a lot of Christmas Tim Holtz from my and I want to try and use some of it up at least. Um, maybe I could put one of those would be nice. A little bit of color there. Usually I prefer the one, the one that is um, matte and not too thick. Um, I have a tendency to buy them both, both the shiny ones and the matte ones. Maybe Santa Claus, no. Nope, no Santa. I'm just looking through my big bag of things. Maybe something like that. Because I want a bit of color. This is too great. Oh, that didn't fold. Something like that, maybe. To give a bit more color. And maybe the little fellow can go here somewhere. It can go there. Yes, I think we have a winner. Now when I'm talking a bit, I <clears throat> feel the stuffiness coming. <clears throat> yeah. I want to ink the edges of those so they don't look so brand new and white. This looks great. Um, let me see if I can punch out the little holes. I, I don't know. <laughs> Often the little holes are not punched through in the Tim Holtz ephemera and many times, like with the paper dolls, they look all, what should I say, um, weird when you punch them out and uh, because they look like they have very skinny legs or arms or half their face are cut off or something. So um, 
I don't know. <laughs> What's the deal, Timmy? What's the deal? Do you think they should be cut off? Or is it just the machines making things strange? And this has been bent a bit so I can... to be glued down I think like that yes I like it and there's a stem to that one as well that came was bent to the back anyway how's everyone doing I'm having my day off uh, work and I really enjoy that especially now in the winter when it's dark outside those who don't know, I live in Sweden and we have November and December is very gloomy here. And um, we don't get much daylight. A few hours, but no, not the whole day. And I don't live as far north that you can get the northern lights in the, in the evening and night. You can get it, but it's not very common. So let me get some paper to pat that down a bit. So I don't accidentally bend something. Yeah, that looks nice. Now it's time for this little guy. I think he looks so cute. Very well, you have some punch outs as well. Uh, let me see, there's one, two. He looks so <laughs> sassy. <laughs> What's the word for it? I don't know in English. So, an update on the snow situation, because I have uh, followed Christine, Catherine, sorry so much, Catherine at Sunnyside Jones, and a few others, and I have decided that from the first snow until the snow thaws in spring, I will try to use what I got instead of buying new things, or new old things. And uh, I have made some huge thrift hauls lately but last night it snowed uh, here <laughs> I can see snow right now I can see snow on the my neighbor's roof and on the table outside and yeah so I guess it's officially winter and it's officially no thrifting season for me but uh, I guess I hope this will count because or won't count because before this snowed I had made a few bids on online auctions and i don't know if i won them or not and they will not arrive until next week maybe if i win so um i hope that counts because <laughs> i've made the bids before the snow i promise i guarantee you uh, i have received a few books this week as well and i will make a, a haul uh, maybe this weekend uh, i'm going for more even more vintage books 1700 early 1800 and I am uh, collecting now to make paper packs for you and me <laughs> and to make vintage grungy books because I love that style and that is very me uh, anyway thank you all so much for being with me today we made this little tiny tiny collage on this flip out and I love that we put in a tuck spot in this signature which is nice and clean and easy, a double tuck spot. And we put in a flippy out uh, pocket kind of thing here. I love that as well. Goes very well with the theme of the book. Uh, if you enjoy this short and sweet video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I would be very happy if you did. It really helps my channel. Leave a little comment down below what you like or don't like about this Christmas journal. 
um, and um, I will talk to you guys really soon. Next time you see this book, it will probably be sewn in to the cover. I'm very excited about that, and I will do that in the darker hours of the day, so that I can make more fun things in the daylight. Thank you all for watching. Bye.